What's up guys, it's Marty Blends and today we're going over how to 10x your income as a barber. So if you're new to the industry or you just happen to be having trouble bringing in the cash flow, here are a couple ways to see dramatic change within your income. Now the first point I want to start off with is gaining clientele because it truly is the most important thing within barbering, especially when you're just starting off and you don't have any other stream of revenue. Guys, now I have a lot of barbers asking me all the time, how do I gain more clientele? Why do I feel stuck? I'm not making as much as I thought I would. And it truly amazes me because it really comes down to them not trying. And what I mean by this is whenever I walk into barbershops, I always see barbers just laying there on their chair, just scrolling through their phone. Like you could be making something happen out there, outside the shop, maybe passing out some business cards or whatnot, maybe putting up some flyers. It's not impossible to gain clientele. A lot of barbers have it. A lot of barbers have the clientele that you might want, but I'm here to set an example. So if you get off that chair right now and you take action, you will see some change. It's as simple as printing out some business cards or maybe even flyers, but make sure you squeeze in something that'll clinch them to want to go with you. Pass them out to strangers near the location you cut at, and I promise you word of mouth will spread, leading you to more business and much more money in those pockets. Now, before we go on to point number two, I do have to emphasize that point number two is really important before you actually get to handing out those business cards and flyers. The second point to 10xing your income as a barber is image. Yes, guys, it is a fact that looking more presentable will draw more attention, which leads to more open doors to new clients. No, I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy a whole suit, but stay looking clean, presentable, and have good hygiene, which leads us to point number three, being approachable. Now, in this case, being approachable really just means you must be willing to present yourself to others in a friendly manner. When you're talking to someone and you're a barber trying to promote yourself, you must be trying to hint that you are a barber and maybe they'll ask you for like some details and whatnot, but it truly just comes down to being friendly, how you communicate to them, making them feel like you're connected will literally like set you off from other barbers because a lot of barbers are just weird and awkward sometimes and it truly just doesn't make for a good conversation on the chair guys you just can't be intimidating it's as simple as making someone feel comfortable within your presence now point number four is marketing and in 2022 this is by far the most crucial step when it comes to 10xing your income as a barber. As I just said, marketing is a really big factor, especially social media. If you do have any questions, I do have a full video right here explaining everything you need to know as a barber and social media. Barber content is usually visual, which means Instagram and TikTok will more than likely be your highest performing platform. Now, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter will fall beneath those two platforms. Guys, to be honest, Twitter isn't really much of a platform to be posting barber posts on, so I would forget about that one, to be honest. Again, if you wanna see a dramatic change in income as a barber, then social media marketing is by far the way to go. And for those that really feel discouraged and feel like they're just gonna get judged by their family or truly just someone that really means a lot to you, just others in general, just from posting a couple pictures of a haircut, I'm here to tell you nobody cares and nobody really gives a now the fifth point that I wanna come across is very important when it comes to being different from any other barber, and that is availability. This of course means after hours and holidays, making you available when other barbers aren't willing to be, which means more income and more revenue for yourself. But you have to be willing to put the time in return for an extra bag. As a barber, it's easy to slack off and not put the extra overtime, but you'll need a set schedule and some overtime in order to overkill. Now this doesn't mean cancel your whole holiday, but if you could squeeze someone in before or after the time your family celebrates then why not make a quick couple bucks but guys if you do decide to do after hours or holidays trust me you want to upcharge you don't want to be left empty-handed and really at the end of the day just charge them what a normal haircut would be like no upcharge it's a freaking holiday you're missing out sometime within within your holiday most people would have off if you were to work a 95 or something like that so upcharge man you're a barber you're your own boss anyways on to the next point now the sixth point for a better income as a barber is your environment now this point doesn't apply to every barber out there if you're working at a shop fine so be it i am just going to emphasize on the fact that if you truly just commit to being private more people will pay reason being is that it's psychologically a fact that men have a lot of problems bottled up in their head the first person they're going to go to is their barber instead of a counselor because going to a counselor is just going to kind of seem weird anyways having that chair and fixing some problems especially with some wise words won't hurt you want to make that environment and the vibe around you so positive they want to come back every time 
If you get positive feedback from your barber and you actually look at yourself, you're looking better, you have a fresh cut, there's no way that chair is not gonna make them feel comfortable. Another thing I do wanna say about the environment is you don't want everything messy or maybe even like dusty because truly who wants that as a client? You wanna see your barber actually cares about his business. That way you have a better reputation and your image coming across to that point looks better. And one really important thing to note is that if you have very nice cuts and your environment completely sucks, then um, it's not going to look so good on you. So make sure you take that into consideration. Now to summarize what I just said, literally have an environment to make them feel comfortable. Talk about whatever they want to talk about. Don't prioritize your feelings or whatever. Prioritize them. Talk about what they want. Literally give them the attention they want and you'll be good to go. You'll be the barber to go to every time they need a haircut. Now the seventh point for today is add-on services. What I mean by this is literally adding on services onto your service that you already have. Now you can include services like nose wax, black mask, hair enhancements, you could go for eyebrows being an extra add-on service, or maybe even hair dyeing. And I almost forgot a very important add-on to us barbers is design. Now, all of these services that I just mentioned do require learning a new skill, some more difficult than the others, but I promise you it'll make a huge impact within your income. For example, if you're currently charging $25 for a haircut and you introduce something new, maybe like a black mask add-on service for like 15 bucks, then it'll bump you up to like $40, which is pretty impressive when it comes to the, like the conversion rate. So look at it this way. The black mask costs $15. You just charge $15 for a black mask and then automatically you have like 10 other people you could use a black mask on, which literally just made you a couple bucks, eh? The eighth point I have for today is price change. And this one is really important because you must know when you should actually make Make that move now if i've got to be real with you guys i have to start off by saying if you're too busy you're too cheap and i really stand by that because it's truly just the fact seriously if you're too busy then too many people can't afford you that means go up on price don't be scared to go up on price that way you reduce the stress on you and you're actually working smarter not harder something else i do want to address off changing prices is family and friends i personally charge my family and friends what i charge other people my time Time is my time you really have to truly accept that your time is your time seriously like you're not gonna charge a family member 20 bucks when you're actually charging 60 bucks to anybody else you're not gonna want to take the family member anymore you're not gonna want to go back now seriously if you wanted to 10x your income just know i am telling you this for a reason and that's what the point of this video is about you can do whatever you want but if you want to know how to 10x your income charge everybody the same price on to the next point one of the last topics i have for you guys today which is our ninth point is upsell now there is a couple ways to upsell but my favorite one is having products to upsell with. Now, what I mean by this is if you put products in front of your client's literal face, just next to whatever they're watching or whatever, they're more prone to see whatever you're selling. In this case, it would be wax, gel, something they could use for your haircut that day, right? So as you're giving the haircut and you prep them at the end, you wanna prep them with something that goes with their hair. That way, in this case, they see whatever you're using and it's obviously up there. They ask you for the price and you automatically upsell that haircut price into whatever it goes into after the haircut and product price. This is a stable strategy for pretty much any business out in the world. So use it guys, use it. Point number 10 is laziness. And this, other than the social media marketing, is probably the second most important step. If you are lazy, none of these points literally could scratch off any of these points. They don't contribute to you. Get your ass up and go do something about the current situation you are in. If you want to 10x your income as a barber, you got to think 10 times bigger. And that concludes my 10 points to 10xing your income as a barber. Go put everything you just learned to use and go make that money. That's been it for me. I'm Marty Blenz and I'm out.